honestly this was like very i don't know like embarrassing because i went from getting distinctions in all my modules just in the previous year to not promoting not being able to get a 60 percent so yeah that that really did not serve me well so My name is Leta Ronalashvil and I am a second year medical student at the University of Pretoria. I come from a town called Mokobani in Limpopo. I attended a school in Mokobani called Mokobani English Combined School, I think from grade four till I reached matric. My matric results, wow, <laughs> do we need to go there? But okay, when I was, um, you know, in final, okay, not final year, when I was in matric, I got a level four for my physical science and the rest of my marks weren't really that bad because it was like ranging for from like a level six to a level, I mean level five to level six, right? So it was between those and um, I think my life science was like a level five and then, you know, my English, my Afrikaans, all those other subjects or yeah, were like a level six, right? So that was, you know, fairly good, but well, not good enough to get into medicine because um, I was placed on the extended program. So what initially happened was, when I got accepted to the University of Pretoria, provisional, provisional acceptance uh, was for BSc Biomedical Sciences. So then I don't know what happened, but my marks dropped and uh, well, I was put on an extended program, right? So what an extended program is, is where you study um, BSc for a year and then you get into medicine, right? But the program is actually for one year six months but if you want to study medicine then it's just only going to be for a year and then you um, go into doing medicine and they select i think the top 20 um and you know they they take that based on like the highest so they can't really say okay the cut off will be like an average of 75 they can't do that it's it's dependent on the students so i was fortunate enough with an average of 71 percent to be um, accepted into medicine I'm currently uh, funded by uh, Nesvis, uh, which is a bursary. Um, I can't really say much about like NBT because, well, when I got into medicine, it was I was a you know tertiary student already, and I just had to be transferred to another program. So I can't really like give advice on you know how you know uh, 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 how you need to prepare for an NBT if you want to get into medicine because, well, that didn't work for me. Um, okay, let's go on to the first year experience of varsity lifestyle. So when I got to varsity, everything was like a shocker for me, like literally having all the freedom, doing what you wanted to do, you know, that was obviously, you know, uh, 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 something that was uh, new for me, you know, because legit, you can do whatever you want, whenever you want it. So obviously when I got there, I was like, you know what, uh, you know, I, I, I can do whatever I want to do, you know, went out and all those things. But obviously when it gets over time, you realize that, okay, I can't really do this because my academics are kind of suffering and I want to get into medicine. So I had to get my priorities straight and kind of push that aside and then go and, you know, focus on my um, academics. There's a lot of temptations and obviously, you know, this. I'm sure people tell you this all the time, but the temptations are real and they are there. You know, um, another thing that was there was just, you know moving from going you know because i was in a private school so obviously like we were around 25 students in a class we were i went from being in a class of 25 to being in a class of 300 and you know this may sound i don't know like i'm overreacting but for me this was something different it was something that was intimidating you know now you have to raise up your hand in front of 299 other students <laughs> so that was a bit you know uh, much for me um the experiences and the challenges which i was faced from first year until now has got to be balanced so when i got into medicine you know they like during that um orientation week they explained to us what balance is how important balance is but you know learning how to apply it in your life is something different you know because i had to get to a point where i learned what this meant I realized that, you know, as I was studying medicine, the relationships that I had, you know, with my family, with my friends, they were kind of like put on strain because, well, I had to focus on my academics and I was just so caught up, you know. So it's something that I had to like learn that, okay, no, this can't be it. I'm going to be studying this for like six years. So I obviously need to be able to, you know, cultivate the relationships that I have with others, uh, be able to go out with my friends and do all those fun things, be able to play sports and all those other things in order to... Um, uh, you know be able to 
do this thing called balance so yeah i can say it's going pretty well because i joined gym so i do exercise um i was able to you know um go back to church and you know be more engaged um in my spiritual journey and just also my relationships with my family seeing my family more often my friends making time for them make sure that you know i, I just maintain a balance between that um the most challenging module in my experience has to got to be mlb yo when I got to first year, I don't know what was happening, but MLP was just holding me by the neck. I don't know what was going on, but obviously, um, you know, with the help of, con you know, with consultation and just giving it some time, it got better, you know, because I had to change, I had to change the my perspective on MLB, and I had to kind of, you know, um, yeah, just just change the way that I think about it, and just know that you know what I really need to go through this in order to get to the next level. Because what happens like before you study the actual medicine is you have these six, six months of studying. I don't know these like life science, almost physical science, maths, and all that. They just call it like different names, but you know you have to go through that before you can actually do medicine. So I knew that I had to go through that before I could actually do the medicine, and but it did kind of help me because you know um, instead like because i had like an entire year of bc bsc you know i was more mentally prepared and most of the stuff was revision for us so i really didn't struggle like it was just like a breeze for me and i remember one of like the easiest modules that i had for me personally was chemistry i loved chemistry you know something that i was invested in and i was putting my time in that so i did pretty well in that even my physics as well yo you wouldn't believe that <laughs> but my physics went up i think by like a 50 percent or something like that yeah so that was pretty good um how would i describe my current year in comparison to my previous years and advice how to prepare in this year as well you know with like people tell you different things right but what i can say is first year is not difficult but if you go with that attitude that okay fine it's easy it's a breeze i'm just gonna go through it you will fail you will do badly and you will not promote that's literally what happened to me so um i thought okay fine you know what it's gonna be a breeze. like i took it for granted you know i was like okay fine i've worked so hard I, it's time for me to just you know chill a bit so when i did that that really was detrimental towards my academics because i found myself not promoting while everybody in my not everybody well i'm i'm exaggerating but it was like almost like just 15 students who didn't promote and obviously this was like very i don't know like embarrassing because i went from getting distinctions in all my modules just in the previous year to not promoting not being able to get a 60 percent so yeah that that really did not serve me well so obviously when i got to second year i was like you know what new mindset i have to you know change the way that i take things i have to be more motivated about things i have to take things more seriously and that's exactly what i did i took it more seriously um and yeah well i was able to promote for most of my blocks and so yeah praise god for that um what I wish I knew before getting into medicine and how I would have prepared better. Well, you know, I can say like understanding the amount of time that is required. Like you literally feel like it's taking everything from you. You need to put on so much effort, you know, whereas I thought, okay, no, even though I knew medicine is challenging, obviously we all know this, but then, you know, I think I took it for granted how much time is needed. You know, like they, I, I think that I wish I would have known that and I would have, you know, understood that this is going to be time. This is going to take most of your time. You need to prepare to put in the time. You need to be prepared to, you know, just, um, yeah, work hard, you know, and, 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 and yeah, that's the one thing that I think I wish I knew before getting into medicine. Um, what keeps me going when the road gets tough? Well, obviously, it's the passion, right? So because I'm very passionate about what I'm studying, um, this is what keeps me going. I always think about how I want to be um, the best doctor I can be. I don't want to be, you know, better than whoever. I want to be the best version of myself. So I'm not in competition with anybody. So when things get tough and, well, I'm not doing as good as everybody else is doing or I'm not getting as high as everybody else is going, I don't compare myself. It doesn't um, affect me anymore, you know, because I understand that, you know what, we're all walking a separate journey and this is my journey, right? And this has really helped me a lot because I've seen how I've been able to conquer. You know, now I really do well because I don't compare with anybody. I don't compete with people. It doesn't work for me, so I don't do it. So this has really, you know, kept me going even when things get tough and things are not looking the way that I want them to look. <laughs> 
um, advice to future medical students. So what I would advise you, ma'am, is understand that, you know, things, if things are meant to happen, they will happen, right? And they will happen in the right time. So just give everything time, you know, don't like uh, want things to happen like now at your timing and everything like things obviously will not happen the way that you want them to happen right so if they don't just just give it time make sure that you are still as long as you want to do medicine as long as you would like to study it then keep on pushing keep on pushing until you get in even if you have to do a degree for four years before you get in do it because at the end of the day it's not about you know um how fast you get there it's not a race it's a journey right so just always keep that in mind and don't pressure yourself don't co don't conform to the pressures of everybody else do what you have to do focus on what you have to focus on and it's gonna work out at the end of the day yeah so that's all i had to say about that so good luck to everybody our greatest glory is never in falling but in rising every time we fall if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like these. Thank you to the new subscribers, very much appreciated. 